Welcome back guys, I'm super excited to share with you that Livani has recovered from its injuries from yesterday. That's right, we are going to use Livani in Premier Cup today. And if in case you're wondering what accidents I might be talking about, well, let me tell you what happened yesterday. So I was in my lab, minding my own business, working on Livani, electing its right moveset for Premier Cup and just moving them around, you know, analyzing which one is better and then adding in the rare candies when all of a sudden, out of nowhere, crashed through the window and it was the one and only Staraptor literally crashed through our window and knocked out Livani, put it out of commission. So now you are up to date. And guys, don't forget that today is Friday, which means we are going to draw some winners. So make sure to see in one of the corners down here to your name to pop up. If you see your name, make sure to reach out to me at Twitter so I can give you your prizes. Thank you so much for playing and let's get started. So Livani. Livani is actually a pretty interesting Pokemon. It's uh, It maxed out at 2500 exactly um, in Ultra, or I should say Premier Cup in Ultra. And uh, it has, well, it has more than one, but I'm using a Razor Leaf. It's a Razor Leafer, guys, like a Leafer. It's actually pretty cool because you can Razor Leaf from a Swampert, like really easily and really fast, and also a Lapras. So that's pretty cool. However, because it's bug and grass typing, right? It's pretty, pretty sensitive for Charizard. And Charizard is everywhere. And unfortunately, one little thing, it's pretty bulky, by the way. It can, take, it can tank some attacks, but obviously not from fire and not from poison, which makes it a little bit harder also, because now it's weak to two main things in this meta, which is Charizard and Venusaur. Because Venusaur can sludge bomb it. It can survive one sludge bomb, but it will get really low. So that's not good. But if it's in, I think in Great League, it might be a little bit better just because we use more water type like Ozumarill and the Razor Leaves are really little on this Pokemon and it can survive basically anything that Ozumarill throws. But, um, but yeah, so I think it might have more play in Great League, but I think it will have more play eventually in Ultra as well. But right now we have this weird meta with the Venusaur and Charizard, which you don't have last season. So we'll see next season. It might, it, every season it will change, so I'm definitely going to keep and I don't... I don't mind spending, well, how much did it cost me? It was like 250,000 Stardust, I think, and like 350 candies just to max out this Pokemon. So it's definitely not cheap, you know? But um, I won't recommend it to do it because you only have like, what, two or three days left of Ultra? But anyways, so guys, so it has a Razor Leaf, and I also use the X Scissors, and I also use Leaf Blade. And the team was, of course, with Charizard in the back and Swampert, so one of those Rock, Paper, Scissor teams. And let's just get started with the battles. Let's go. All right, guys, game one, Livani into Gyarados. So this is not so great. This is not the best because that Dragon Breath and unfortunately Crunch adds up. The Aqua Tail wouldn't, but uh, that Crunch does add up. So I decided to shield just to preserve my Livani. After all, this is a Livani video, so it would be bad if Livani is already out in the first five seconds of it. Um, so that's why, you know, I did it and Leaf Blade and we take out, so with one shield we take out Gyarados, which is awesome and like Gengar comes in and I just want you to pay attention that Gengar is already at half health, but, but Gengar is such a, you know, classy Pokemon. So Livani is actually putting, putting, got a shield and one and a half Pokemon is out basically. So now we're going to bring in Swampert and we're going to shield this because it's definitely a Shadow Ball or Focus Blast because it has so much energy. Perfect. That was awesome, and then he subs out into Empyreon. This is perfect for us, because I know he's definitely not going to shield, because he's saving that shield for Gengar with some energy. So, Swampert, booyah, just like that, one-shots Empyreon, so I knew that was going to happen. Because there's no way he's going to shield, he has a Gengar, and Gengar can take care of whatever I have in the back. So, but Empyreon would have done it too, if it had an energy advantage, by the way. But anyways, um, so now Charizard comes back in. And this is a done deal, Shadow Ball not gonna take me out. I can just basically farm it down and I still have Swampert, but yeah. So that was good, good first game. And it was so quick, did you guys see how quick it was? Well, what, was it even a minute? That was a very quick match. Guys, um, next, game two. It was fun, I think I did four, four sets and each four guys, four sets, I did three, two each time, which means three points, four times. So I got 12 points for four sets today and I won each set. These three twos when you when you only get three points is ridiculous. But anyways, um, Livani into uh, Heracross. So I'm throwing the Xers because I feel like that the bug would do something to it. But he's gonna shield anyways, I think. Yep, he's shielding. Perfect, I'm just gonna farm up with some energy, with some energy. 
And uh, this is just gonna be a dynamic punch, I think, right? Close combat, yeah, we resist that, so it's all right. Did you guys see that? How well we just tanked that close combat? That's right. And then I'll be throwing another Exorcist right into the, uh, which we call Alolan Muck, but I think the Leaf Blade would have been better. Um, but now we are in with Swampert, and this is probably gonna be Dark Pulse, but we're gonna eat that. And don't forget, guys, this is my second, I was not the second time, but second day, I should say, with Swampert. I never played with Swampert before, so I'm still figuring it out, and I'm learning the matchups. And I'm trying to farm up, as you guys can see. And see, I didn't know that. With Obstagoon, I would have known how much I have left to able to farm or not, but with Swampert, I did not. I thought I got it, but I didn't. So that's, yeah, that's what happens when you learn a new Pokemon. But literally, this is my second day with Swampert, so... Don't make fun of me, thank you. <laughs> and then now, I want to shield this because I had a feeling that whatever is in the back is not gonna like Swampert. And here, I made a mistake. I should have thrown the Hydro Cannon because it's a Shadow Swampert. He's, of course, he's going to shield. So that was really stupid of me to do that. But now I just charge on the, I mean, a swap on a charge move to eat this uh, Hydro Cannon on Earthquake. So, a Surf, hmm, interesting. I guess he did, oh, he got a really good Swampert, probably a Shadow Swampert but uh, not get it on the camera today, of course, and he, he got the shadow and I don't want to use the TM, so that makes sense. But don't get me wrong, that is still good. That's with the shadow is still pretty good. And it charges so quick and it hits pretty hard because of the plus 20%. So some part is good and he decides to quit at that point because there was no point staying in. So game two in the sack, we won again. Um, that's awesome so far. So Livani have done some work, I should say, because that was half work was actually Livani. We barely, we didn't even use Charizard. Charizard just showed up. All right, so this is good. This is favorable for us. We can actually win this. So Tangerine going into it because look, the Razor Leaf add up so quick and then the Axisor should be super effective. So that's awesome. This is probably gonna be a Rock Slide. We're not gonna shield it. And that's super effective. So that does a lot. But Axisor will do just as much, I think, to him that the Rock Slide did to us. So let's see if he decides to shield. That's why I didn't wanna shield. Cause you know, when you shield, they're gonna shield too. So. This is perfect, and we should be able to farm it down, but we're gonna have to shield once. But he's not gonna be able to farm us down. So this was the right play to do, uh, right into Tanger, Tangerine, Tangerine, Tangerat, I would say. And now we have energy, so this is still good. As long as it's not Charizard. Charizard comes in, we are out. So let's hope it's not Charizard. Okay, Gengar, so that's perfect. We should be throwing the X Scissors, but he's probably gonna shield. No, he didn't. We didn't do anything, by the way, because Gengar resisted, so he knew better. Anyway, Swampert comes in, so we try to do the same thing, but now Gengar has the energy advantage. If this is a Shadow Punch, then it's... Oh yeah, it's just a Shadow Punch. And it's probably another Shadow Punch. Because that was super quick. No way, it's a Shadow Ball. Okay, perfect. And then now we just farm up some energy. And we're gonna throw... And he's staying in, you know, so... Well, he still had two shields, so he should probably take that and throw another one. But I subbed into Charizard. The reason why I subbed into Charizard is because I had a feeling that he has something in the back that does not like Swampert. That's why he didn't swap out, otherwise he would have stayed in. And it's sure enough, it's a Charizard. Man, that's why he didn't swap out, that makes sense now. Man, we're gonna lose this one, because there's no way we're gonna able... He still has a shield, we don't have any. So yeah, that's Charizard in the back, and I could not beat it with the Swampert. So I should have farmed up a little bit with the Swampert, but too late. And we're gonna throw it, but he has a shield, so we're not gonna able to win this. But even if you had a little bit of energy advantage, you would have been able to actually win this match. So, well, we'll learn from that. But yeah, yeah, so I, when when they won switch, swap out with a Gengar, and you have a Swampert, the energy, there is something in the back that's weak to that Swampert. So that's why they're staying in. And especially with the shield both. So yeah, that, that was a mistake. Anyways, Livani to Venusaur. So this is not so great, because Venusaur has Sludge Bomb, so it's not so, and resists all moves. So it is what it is, but I mean the Razor Leaves, look at that, how it's chunking down on Venusaur. So we're gonna throw that x Scissors, and that does pretty decent amount of damage too, actually. And then, well, we're gonna have to shield if we wanna stay alive, because the Sludge Bomb, how much does it do? Yeah, it just takes it out completely. But Charizard comes in to farm down, and he brings in Muck, so this is good for us, we're just gonna Blast Burn it. And if he doesn't shield, he thinks we are just baiting, but we are not baiting. Perfect, that was awesome. I wanted to swap out, but then I changed my mind. Let's just farm this mug down. Because it looks like he's farming for... What did he think? Or what was going on here? I'm not sure. Oh, he just probably already quit. Okay, so we won that one. 
Okay, that was a good game too. Great. All right, I think we are at game four or game five already. They're going pretty quick. So this is, so guys, this is a pretty decent team, but I think I would, I would prefer Skeptile over Livani, honestly. And this is not good because if it has a confusion, yeah, confusion, it's, it's a pretty good, but still look at that Razor Leaf. Razor Leaf is adding up more than it is confusion to us. So that's actually pretty good. I didn't even see what he brought in. What is it? Oh, it's a Lapras. Oh, guys, look at it. Look at it. Oh, my God. Look at that Lapras. Look at it. <laughs> that Lapras is getting destroyed. Oh, my God. That Lapras got destroyed by Livani. Oh, my God. That was crazy. That was so quick. Anyways, so now I have no answers for the Lapras. I should, if I would have shielded, I could have farmed it down. But I didn't want to shield it because I was like, all right, we can do it. But I, that's what I should have done. I should just farm it down with the shield. Because now look at this. It's uh, At least I'm building up some energy, so that's cool. But um, but it's taking uh, my Swampert out, basically, so I have to use some energy. And then now he comes back in. I have to shield this because that's not going to be good for Swampert. Seed Bump, yep. And I come in with Charizard. And then what is he going to do? What does he have in the back? And it's a Polybreath, so we lost. Yeah, that's not good. I mean, we could still win this, guys. Like, like we could. If he didn't shield that, we could have won it. <laughs> but he got two shields, so of course he's going to shield it. And then now uh, this is probably going to be an Ice Punch, which we're going to survive, so we can tank this. We can get to another Blast Burn. It's another Ice Punch, so we're going to have to shield it, but we can get to another Blast Burn. But I think I'm going to try to switch on the Ice Punch. Except I don't have time. My timer is not up yet. So let's throw the Blast Burn, and he's probably going to shield it again, because... His Polyrath is key at this point, so he did the right move, and I tried to swap on a charge move. And unfortunately, so did you guys saw that? So I was right there, and it, I pushed accidentally. So I should have swapped sooner, and then I would have been able to throw the attack, and he won't be able to swap out. But now I had to throw that Earthquake, and I had no energy, and he's going to come back with the Polyrath. And i able to get to that, but unfortunately, wait, unfortunately, it's not going to be enough, right? There's no way it's enough. Nope. Earthquake would have been enough, so I and I would have been able to farm into that Earthquake. That was a mistake. See, I don't know Swampert. Did you guys see that? So I was almost at Earthquake, but I throw a Hydro Canyon and then it survived and it farmed me down. And if I would have just farmed up all the way to that Earthquake, I would have won that match. Man, it was good games, guys. I liked it. I, I enjoyed playing with this game. It was actually fun. It was Rock, Paper, Scissor. So that was actually pretty cool. Um, if you guys, if you want my opinion on Livani, Livani is pretty good, but if you want the answer to should you power one up for this season, the answer is definitely no. But should you power up for next season for Great League? If I would recommend that you power one up for Great League, and then if you like playing with it in Great League, maybe power one up for Ultra eventually. But test it out in Great League, because I think it will have more potential in Great League. So anyways guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you till the next time.